Death to Moby Dick. God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to his death. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Nantucket. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. This right here is honestly one of the more unique games I've played in a very long time. I read the description on this game, which is fairly intriguing, so I wanted to share it with you. Here, you're playing the role of Ishmael. Ishmael from Moby Dick. This game, in a sense, takes place a couple of years after the events of Moby Dick, and you're trying to figure out the secrets behind Moby Dick dissolve Ahab's curse, etc, etc. As you play as Ishmael, you build your, your ship-faring ship over here, build up your crew, you go out there hunting for whales. It's a really intriguing game that that alone kind of sold me on it. I took it out for a spin and I really enjoyed it, so I'm here showing it off today for you guys. Let me go into the new game and stop talking about the game and actually show it off to you. Um, here we have our character creation, which we are captain. I think Ishmael is perfectly fine by me, so I'm not changing that. And I'm gonna go with hunting. You have sailing, science, and crafting. Uh, you'll be able to craft better weapons, different ways to kind of hunt. Science will be for medicine to keep your crew healthy. Sailing will be for better sailing and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with hunting early on because it feels like it's a really good thing to have. And let's go ahead and choose a trait for ourselves over here. If I'm going to be a hunter, I'm going to make myself strong, which means even more damage from my harpoons, which is always fairly good. We also have smart, old sea dog, healthy and open minded, but I like strong. So we'll go with that one. Drink ye harpooners, drink and swear, ye men that man the deathful whale boat's bow. Death to Moby Dick. God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to his death. <laughs> Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. I was cursed. Twice. By the Lord for my blasphemous promise to hunt Moby Dick, and by Ahab for surviving the Pequod and its sons swallowed by the sea. I was craving to conquer my spot in heaven by striking my iron in Moby Dick's heart. So, I headed back to Nantucket, looking for a new ship and wealth-seeking sailors. We're starting off fresh. We have a, a really raggedy old boat to start off with. We have the Melville, the old rotten sloop. It's a small boat, um, right there, small. We have only one whale boat, meaning we only have one party to actually go out and hunt whales when we fight. We can only hold three crew members, and the speed is fairly low, low HP, low cargo room, and eventually, once we get some more money, we could come over here and buy the Harriet, Lucy, and a bunch of other things as well. Mind you, the game's still in early access, so I'm sure it's gonna add a bunch of more stuff down the line, but right now, we're starting off with the old Melville. So the first thing we need is a crew. Let's go over to the tavern, and we can choose what type of crew members we want. Um, keep in mind, we only have four prestige, and if you want to hire, like, a hunter, you do need to actually cough up the prestige for it. Now, if I go with you, you're one prestige, which is not too bad. And you do have an open-minded trait, which is a decent one. Plus one experience gain per day of navigation. That's actually not bad. So I'm going to pick up um, Silas, who happens to be from the US, apparently. So hire you for one prestige. And let's go over to now the regular old cabin boys. These guys over here will start off like the default class. And then once they level up, you can turn them into a hunter, sailor, scientist, etc., etc. So with this over here, let's go with, um, hmm, that's a negative trade right there. Let's go with Alonzo, who will give me funny trade, plus five more out to the other crew members, which sounds really good. And what about Roy? Roy is going to be orphan. So whenever he dies, I'm pretty sure we get all the money that he's actually earned, because you do pay your characters as well. Um, that's not too bad. Sure, I'll pick up Roy. Why not? So we have three crew members. That's going to be enough for now. Let's okay that one. And let's see, next thing we need to do is go over and find if there's a quest available to us. There's going to be like a, a, this part over here which gives you the news about what's happening in the world in that year, which is 1820. 
So George IV is the new king of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Russian sloop Volstagg claims to have sighted the ice sheet of Terra Australis, etc, etc. But we're looking for his jobs. So these will be like our quests. We have our main quest and then we have a bunch of other small quests that we need to do to get some money, build our prestige up, etc, etc. So right now the only thing available to us is going to be discover a new whaling area. Various ships have reported the presence of large quantities of whales in Baffin Bay. It could be a new hunting area that will give us 200 gold. 16 days away, let's accept that. And since we know it's going to be 16 days away now, we have to stock our ship up for 16 days of travel. But remember, we have to also come back, and if the winds aren't in our favor, it'll take us longer. So you want to have, like, proper supplies, obviously. So let's come over here to the general store. We have no day's worth of supplies, and we need water. So let's go up to... We have 1,000 gold, which is fine. Let's go up to, like, maybe... I like to keep myself over 100 all times, just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go at 126 days worth of water. 126 days worth of food. Um, 125 days worth of grog, because that'll be morale for our people. Gotta keep them nice and drunk, so they're happy, especially when bad things start happening to the sea. And wood will be to recover our hull damage. So for this one, I like to go a little bit higher than usual. So maybe 200 days worth. We're down to 430. I think this is adequate. Let's hit OK. And... You know what? We might stay there and hunt a bit longer. Once we find that base, so maybe let's go a little bit higher than usual. But keep in mind that if we're going to be hunting, we have to hold the blubber and the possible oil and stuff like that. So we do have a hold capacity of 64. So with 32, we'll have half of our hold still available for um, supplies from the whale hunting. So that's cool right here. We have our people, we have our quests, we have our supplies. And let's see, over here we have research to increase the capability of our ship here. Um, the first thing I like to do is uh, acquire... The harpoon. So for 90 days worth of research for 200 gold, we will get standard harpoons from poor harpoons, which will go from 6 to 8 damage, which sounds fairly decent to me, so let's go ahead and research that. The research of harpoons technology has started. It will take 90 days to complete, and then you can come back here to finalize the research and upgrade the related compartment. You gotta make sure that you come back to the place you start the research at, mind you. If you go somewhere else, or forget about it, you won't get credit for it, so you have to come back here to apply that upgrade. So, cool. We're done. Let's get on out of here. Let's um, sail away because I believe we're ready for this bad boy here. So we have to go up to Basin's Bay to acquire a... Uh, apparently a whaling area. What's cool about the game is that when you find places like the whaling areas, they will remain on your map for the entire gameplay. And essentially, they'll have like types or like... As you see, like there's an actual time down here, January 1st, 1820, which will go, you know... Every single month, every single day, and the years go up and up, right? But throughout the course of the game, there'll be seasons for everything else. So if you go like over here and discover this whaling area, um, eventually later on in the game, you could come back here to hunt whales over and over, depending on the type of the season it is, which is fairly cool to me anyway. So um, that'll be our location, and we'll hit resume. And right now, I believe we're in one time speed. So, the main quest, as I mentioned, is going to be Rise from the Ranks. For this bad boy, we need to get 25 prestige before um, we continue with our main quest. So, meanwhile, we only have like four, I believe. So, we have to do a lot of minor quests or hunt whales to increase our prestige and move on with the main quest itself. So, I believe we're in one time speed. Let's go up to three. And these arrows over here will tell you like where the wind's going. So, if you're going a bit too slow, it means that the wind's probably going against you, which is no good. And here we are in the first area, which is going to be the Baffin Bay, if I'm right. Finn Ahoy! Your lookout yells as he spots a fin in the distance. Maybe the, the whale sighting rumors about this area were true. Let's lower the whale boats and check the area. It looks like you have discovered a new whaling area, but your presence made the creatures nervous. Your order, you're meant to prepare to fight. Okay. Now remember, we have a small boat right now. So unfortunately, we only have enough for one group of um, team members. Once you get a bigger ship, you'll be able to have like different boats to attack either one whale or multiple whales at the same time. And right now it's going to be sunny, ran um, random combat condition. These will basically give you different type of um, elements to the fights, but I think sunny is fine. So let's go ahead and make Ishmael one of my team members. I also want to get Silas, which is my hunter. And as you can see, they have like um, three attack dice and then three blanks. If we draw a blank, we can't attack that turn. And let's see, Alonzo. Only two attack, and royally two attack, so they even have a lesser chance to get an attack die. So, let's go with Alonzo for this one. And that'll be my party. Let's continue. 
And for this one, luckily, we do have an easy fight against a newborn narwhal whale. 3 HP. And let's see, the sunny condition against the sun. Hunting dice sides won't enable commands. Oh, that sounds bad. But let's go over here and roll. And because it's sunny, we cannot activate our... Ow. We cannot activate our attack die because of the sunny effect. Now it's going to be clear weathers, which is no effect. So unfortunately, because the sun was against us for that turn, we couldn't, like, send a harpoon at that dude. And he did a number on Alonso, and apparently Alonso's bleeding, which is going to be two damage per turn, which is no good. Hopefully we can bring this down soon. Roll again. Ishmael and Alonso failed, but luckily Silas got his um, roll dice in there, so we'll do nine damage, which is enough to kill this guy. Harpoon him. And that's it. He's dead. The all turn fin up. The agitated waters royal red with blood. And then they finally fall silent. You raise your arm, and your men's cries surround you. So for this bad boy, we got one prestige for Ishmael, which is we're trying to aim to 25. I also got 25 experience, and then we got six morale for Silas for the kill. 25 experience for taking part in the combat, and Alonzo 25 as well. Roy was not part of the combat, so he doesn't get anything for now, unfortunately. And what we got from the whale, we got two blubber, which will be 25 each. We'll take it back to the town and sell it. And we also got a food bike, and it's a whale. We'll take the meat off of his body. There you go. And we have 34 of 64 hold. Now, as you can see right now, if we chill over here, it'll tell you about Coastal Baffin Bay, which it says inactive... Well, inactive whale feeding... Will you stop blocking it? Well, either way, it's saying inactive whale feeding area, meaning right now in this part of the year, there is no more hunting to do, so we should go back to Nantucket and turn our quest in. But we could come back later whenever it is active to hunt whales again. So for now, we'll go back to Nantucket. Trigger that. And along the ways, too, when you're traveling from one area to the other one to do your quest, you're going to be have like, random events show up, like, you know, you're, you're... There's one of them right here, speaking of the devil. With a lot of water in the hole and a small crew, some water barrels have sat untouched for weeks. Some of them smell funny, and the water looks putrid. So, a lot of the events, thus far, I will admit that I'm not liking the fact that a lot of the events seem to be always negative. Like, there, there's rarely any good positive ones. Then again, I mean, I guess it's a point of them, maybe. But, I don't know, I feel like there's always something against you, kind of, like, trying to screw you over your run. But over here, we have a chance at 50% chance of success and 50% chance of fail. If we decide to keep the water, there's a chance we'll get dysentery. If we throw it away, we have to lose either one to four barrels of water. We do have... 11, so I'm not going to risk getting dysentery, so let's go over here and just throw one of four. And we throw two away, which is fine. It's acceptable. We're going back to Nantucket anyway, so we'll be able to probably get some more water that, that way. Um, And hey, look at that. We got into a random fight pause. There she blows. You yell as he spots a fin in the distance. It could be a precious whale. I'm going to go ahead and lower the whale boats and lead the hunt myself. Now, is this going to be a tough whale? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same party though, although maybe Alonzo's heard. Let me go with Roy now to get some experience. So we'll do Ishmael, we'll do Silas, and we'll do Roy this time around. He's got the same die as um, Alonzo, it's not really a big deal. We just need to level him up to turn him into a different class afterwards. So continue. And luckily we do have another newborn Norma, so which is fine. Um, our damage has decreased by 20% because of the adverse wind. Let's roll. Luckily, Ishmael drew a die to attack, and that's going to be enough for the kill. That's because we have the strength as well, so it's not really too deficient because of that bad condition that we drew right here. The day is ours, and we got two more blubber, a bit more food. Excellent. Continue. Now, these over here, um, these storms will be random events that you... Oh, oh! We can go back and hunt some narwhals. Hold up, hold up, sail away. We have enough room in the hold, so we found ourselves an active whale mating area. Now, you see how slow I'm going? That is because the winds were against us momentarily, but now they're in our favor. Let's go in here and hunt some whales. We could also create a safe dock, but in order to do it, I believe you need, like, a crafter or something. You also need the safe docking skill. You need 30 wood, and what this will do is it'll basically be a place for you to rest your characters meanwhile you hunt throughout the year. Which is, I haven't done it just yet, but it sounds fairly intriguing. For now, let's hunt a couple more whales if we can. And while walking on the deck of your ship, you notice a few of your men relaxing after a hard day and playing dice. They invite you to play, and you ask yourself if that could be a way to solve your money shortages. So, here we have an event where I can make $50, the ship plot thickens, or I could also lose $50. 
and I would not waste my money on stupid games. Well, it's only 50, so you know what? Let's try it. I lost. <laughs> Just lost. Let's go in here and do some hunting, though, which is fine. We'll basically hunt this dude down and get some money back, so it's not really a big deal. We have plenty of room on our hold as well. Let's use the same people we used last time around and um, last used and assign that. We have another Narwhal. And unfortunately, because we are once again against the sun, we are un unable to attack this turn, so let's just roll. Narwhal will use his Tusk Strike and hurt Silas, get him to start bleeding a bit. Random crew member gets state stunned, which is Silas. That's no good, but at least we still have Ishmael for this one. Come on, Ishmael! Oh god, nobody landed a attack one. Well, Silas is already bleeding, so I guess that's we kind of lucked out. Clear weather. Okay, so now we're finally back into the game here, and we have enough for the kill. Silas is here bleeding. Get your revenge there. Bring that whale down. The day is ours, so... More morale for Silas for that kill. We got one more prestige and a bit more blubber as well. Now, right now we're really dealing with these um, infant narwhals. There's a ton of different whales in the game, especially once you start going down to the south. Different type of whales, different sizes, and they'll give you like better rewards as well. But right now, since we're in the starting area, these guys are just kind of relatively easy to deal with. But let me get another one before we go back to Nantucket over here. And... Let's go ahead and use the last use, why not? Continue. Another Narwhal. Creature plays their card face up. So he's looking to do his Tusk Strike. Which is kind of like the only attack it seems to have at this point. Let's roll. Silence got the roll. Kill him. More Blubber for us. And that'll be it for now. I guess we'll probably go back to Nantucket and sell some of the things we have. We could carry some more as you could see, but... I mean, our supplies are still really good to stay here for a while longer and just hunt whale. Because we have a bunch of food and water. And we have plenty of more cargo hold, but I want to show you more of the game. So for now, let's just go on back. Otherwise, I would just hang out here for a while and just hunt. It's an easy way to get a prestige, which, by the way, we're up to 8. We get to 25 in order to continue the main quest. So for now, let's enter the harbor. Let's sell all the blubber that we do have. So the blubber brought in 178. I believe you might need the scientist to turn that into oil for even a higher reward. But that's fine. Nobody's leveled up yet, so Alonzo and Roy are still just cabin boys. And overall, we got 178 blubber from that, which isn't really that good. But... We do have a mission to turn in, so let's come over here and get my reward of 200. That's good. Now there's another mission available now, which is going to be Kill Bermuda Morris. Reports or Maurice. Reports indicate that a creature has attacked several ships in the last few weeks. Now for this one, it's a level 9 mission, which um, we are not level 9. I think we're like level 1 or 2. So we can't take that one just yet. But it's going to be available once we eventually do level up. And are you available just yet? Are you still... March 31st, so we have, you know, roughly over a month to get our harpoon leveled up. So we just have to wait, go ahead and do some more missions meanwhile. But there's no more available jobs here, so what I could do now is travel somewhere else to find for a different job. Or just wait till something else opens up. Luckily our crew members are fine. Let's come over here and see about selling a bit of extra food, since we have like over 200 days worth of food. That's fine. Let me get some more water, because we have used some of that up. Some more grog. Bit more water, and that'll be fine. Alrighty, so that's done. At this point, we'll sail away. At this point, we're almost out of time with this video, too, unfortunately. But if you guys enjoyed this, want to see a bit more, let me know in the, um, in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up, but we can indeed cover more of this down the line. I'll have the link in the description in case you want to follow it for yourselves. This comes out in the 18, if I'm right, so... By the time you see the video, I'll try to get this video out before the release, but if not, maybe by the release you'll see this video. But the information will be down below. It is a PC game, early access, but a lot of promise, honestly. So we're in Nantucket. Let's go over to Horta. And you can also see the, the prices over here. So if you want to sell your blubber in different areas based on what the prices are offering, you can also travel different areas. So it's a really cool little like strategic tycoon game at the same time. For instance, over here, they offer 23 per blubber. While in Nantucket, I can't tell because I'm on it, but let's see... Peterhead only offers 24 25 which is a lot higher than ours, but it's a lot farther too, so pick your poison type of thing. But let's find out what type of buildings Horta has, so let's come over here and make the trip. 14 days available. There is a storm along the way, which I think we just might have ran into. Man overboard during a storm? Yep, that was a storm in our way. During a storm, your ships crest, uh, crest a massive swell, and one of your men falls into the sea. You can barely see him by struggling among the waves. Okay. So we could throw a rope at him. It's going to be Alonzo, which is a cabin boy. 
I'll be honest with you, it's not the end of the world if we lose Alonzo right now. At least it's not the Hunter. I mean, not to be heartless here. Um, we could throw, throw a rope at him for 30% save. Tie a rope around another man and send him to save the man overboard. 60% chance that he survives, but then 30% chance that die that Alonso dies and 10% chance that both of them die. And send the whale boat to rescue him. He dies regardless of which. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... Could we really lose two cabin boys if we do this? Well, he died. I'll be honest with you, that felt like the highest chance for him to succeed. If we just threw the rope straight up, I think he would have died anyway. So, Alonso's dead. And you hear that? And they're singing now because Alonso died, so they do the entire, like, you know, Oh, we lost one of our fellow crew members thing. It's, it's fairly cool. Now, it's fairly cool right now, but after a while, it does get a little annoying, I will admit. I wish there was like a way to kind of like turn that off and be like, okay, I'm done, cool, I got it, yep, you were singing the, the fact that our boy died, but um, stop. I got a really long way to travel, I don't need to hear you sing the entire way. Um, so we lost our boy, which is unfortunate, but come over here and we'll pick somebody up in his stead. Um, let's see, anybody with a positive trait? Leandro's a swimmer. Hey, if you fall overboard, there's a chance you might not drown, huh? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pick up Leandro. There you go. All right. And that's about it here. Any jobs available here? Let's find out. Jobs. Level... F oh, no, no, not level 50. This requires 50 cargo space, which we can do. It's telling us to go back to Nantucket to deliver some goods. So all we have to do for this one is to unload some of our supplies. So we need 50 available, which means we need 14. Um, all right. What I could do here is just sell... I mean, Nantucket isn't really too far. So I could do that. Do that. Hmm, let's do 70 in that one. Can you get up to 14? 12 days worth of home. No, that's not good. Okay, let me pick that up and let me just sell that and that. I think that's fine. That's exactly 50 needed. Let's pick it up. Get this job. Accepted. We'll get 50 experience and 110 gold, which is fairly easy. Pulls that up right there. We're gonna hire somebody. And over here we get... Oh, there's no upgrades in this area. Because otherwise we'd have a chance over here. It's February 28th, so the 31st we get our our harpoon upgrade back in Nantucket anyway. So, done here. Let's sail on away. And I'll go back to Nantucket and get this delivery out of the way. But there you guys have it. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one here today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, Nantucket. Really fun, really unique. I'm really digging this a lot. Comes out on the 18. I'll have the information down below in the link. And if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, let me know in the comments. And I shall continue to happily do more of this because this is fairly cool. I haven't really gotten too far myself, so I've never actually gotten up to 25 prestige. So I'm not, a, I'm not sure where the story goes, but there's side quests and main stories to kind of undertake here. I will catch you next time.